Igbos are not going anywhere. They can't abandon their investments and leave Nigeria. Iwanyawu, a popular Igbo businessman, Chief Emmanuel Iwanyawu, has come out to express his pains regarding the situation of Nigeria and how some Igbos are agitating to disintegrate from the country. The business tycoon went to went further to shut the ongoing secessionist movement in the country while describing it as absurd. Chief Emmanuel went ahead to make it clear that Igbos are one of the most major are the mo- one of the major shareholders in a country which automatically prevents them from wanting to disintegrate from Nigeria. He noted that some people who are demanding for the Igbos to go are only doing it for their own selfish reasons. The businessman stressed that Igbos wouldn't be going anywhere uh, even if the other regions are leaving Nigeria because it would be a great mistake to abandon their investment and leave the country. In conclusion, Chief Emmanuel strongly noted that Igbos want the unity um, of this nation more than any other ethnic group in Nigeria and we should all work to bring it to reality. Um, I don't... Listen, I... I... I don't understand the logic of how you can get... Okay, fine. Let me not judge. But, you know, you can have foreign investments, right? Again, depending on how we're going to leave, if there's going to be... You know, if they're just going to disintegrate, if we're going disintegr- to disintegrate, we can make, you know, a proper amicable sort of thing where, you know, understanding that the transition would obviously be... It can't just be cut through transition no communication with the rest of the other regions of course you, so how do people with foreign investments do their work how do how so then how does foreign investment work it would be the same thing it would just be that the the new region would have to be taxing Igbos. that's it Igbos would get taxed for you know import uh for it was it tariffs or whatever they just get taxed that's just the only difference you can still have businesses there so again, what do you think? So you just think that okay, fine, we just we should disintegrate. Again, you can take your business with you, or you can remain your business can remain there. I don't know. I don't understand the logic of. I don't understand the logic. I mean, I I'm guessing this is coming from as a result of panic. Um, so again, also it shows that this person, well, this man here, this businessman, does not really do a lot of international, um, trading. So I guess it seems like oh my gosh, wow, I'm gonna leave everything behind. You're not going to leave everything behind if you choose to take your business with you. Fine, if you choose to establish your business there and do that, it would just be, you know, instead of it being uh, a domestic sort of product, it would be an international one in which you're going to have to pay for it and you're going to have to pay taxes. The only difference is that you are now under a different body, well, under a different set of business rules, basically. Um, because if Nigeria like, doesn't integrate, of course, you know, things would work differently in different regions. That's it. It's really not that deep. Um, so, again, I mean, it's shocking that a business tycoon will not understand this. I mean, I don't know. Because, again, the perspective that's given here is not... It's very much straight to the point and very basic. It's Again, because he says that Igbo's are one of the major shareholders in the country. Shareholders of what? Of wealth? Of businesses? What exactly are major shareholders in what? I we need to be we need to I, I don't know just be specific, and so it's I don't, listen I'm not even saying that. Um, again I don't know why he's he's speaking for the Eagles again if the Eagles agree and it's a general thing that Eagles okay fine, but then I don't know who put him in a position to speak for Eagles again. Eagles will have to reply to him and be like, are, are you right or you're wrong? And um, but I I don't think that um businesses and all that i don't think it would be a problem i don't when it comes to trading i don't think it goes have to i don't think it goes have to worry about that I and mean, again they can trade with other countries in the world and of course when it comes to you know innovation and their domestic produce if they should disintegrate they will literally come on it's just panic they will literally be at least well by on paper they should be the most well off um by just by virtue of how uh, skillful they are in terms of you know and workmanship and you know they're very much oh, come on come on you can't just underestimate it goes like that so i don't i don't understand why this man is speaking for all Igbos. i don't think it would be a problem um i think that um we don't again i think we need to bash this idea that if we're gonna separate we're gonna separate on really bad terms that everyone's gonna hate each other and would never like communicate with other regions again that's i mean at least i know for sure Igbos and Yorubas would definitely 
still be in touch 100% with each other. I am not really sure about the North. Um, I don't know where they stand on this, but if the, if the, if this situation should happen, Igbos and Yorubas would definitely be want to trade with each other and do that. I don't think there'll be any bad blood. Again, I don't think there should be any bad blood between the North and the South, but um, it's just the probability. How likely is it that uh, it, it's, it's going to be like that? So, yeah. Um, I mean, that's just it, to be honest. Um, but then other regions... Other regions would not... Okay, I don't... Because it says oh, even if other regions are leaving Nigeria, but then if other regions leave Nigeria, <laughs> then what would be left? It would, it would be Igbos then, and they would have to make their own country, which I don't know. Um, they already have. Um, so yeah, it says they're only doing so for their selfish re- reasons. Well, what do you mean for their own selfish reasons? They, I mean, so you have no right to voice your opinion? At the end of the day, if a people... I'm not saying one person... If a people are like, we want this, they want it, and they will bear the consequences, good or bad, for whatever choice that they make. But then again, you can't just be like, oh, for the selfish reasons. Um, excuse me. In the country where selfishness, even in Nigeria, so selfishness is literally like, your, your everyone's middle name. <laughs> How can you say, okay, fine, they are doing it for selfish reasons. Why should they Why should they not want to do it for selfish reasons? You're putting a government in place for the few, for the benefit of you. And your generations to come, you can see as a collective, which is which is better to see, to see it as a collective than an individual thing. However, it's just like okay, so you're telling Igbos not to go for a I mean, why should they not? Because you've again, you you just by investments, it's not really a strong argument as to why. You know, I'm not saying discretion all the way. I mean, there are a lot of arguments. For example, um, was a big bird creature. I think that's his name. One thing, um. I think well, I think one of Felakuti's son, I I think the younger one, um, he said that it's called Big Bird Kuti on you know Big Bird Kuti on Instagram, and he said that if Nigeria is disintegrate, then the the state itself is not held responsible for the atrocities against the Nigerian people. In which I was like, hmm, that's a very new argument. Um, basically his point is, if the state Nigeria doesn't exist anymore. Then there's no there we, then it's it's harder, more difficult to hold the state accountable for what it had done to the Nigerian people in terms of all the atrocities, in terms of um violation of human rights. Oof, they are big on that one. So yeah, that's another argument. So again, this argument I'm saying that just to show that okay, fine, disintegration may not be the best option, but then to some it is. And you know what? That's it. It's the decision that they make, and you as a person or anyone. The, the, the choice should not be taken away. That is the main thing. But what I think, I don't forget to like and subscribe.